Hey, what's up guys, Mr. Wise here and today let's talk about videos on social media platforms. Have you ever tried to upload a video on social media either on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube or any other platforms and after you have finished uploading that video, now it looks very low quality, it looks pixelated, it looks fuzzy, it's not looking clear as what is saved in your computer or in your phone. Cool, this video is for you. Before I continue, please consider to subscribe to this YouTube channel for future content just like this. Now, I have been in the video business for over 10 years and this has been the most frequently asked question. How do you upload your videos on social media platforms for them to look so clear and high quality? All right, it's very simple. In fact, let me address three different groups of people on this issue. The first group of people are those who are into video business. Maybe they are editors, maybe they do uh, wedding videos, and then they are just failing to get settings right to post their videos on social media. And now these are a, this is a group of people who actually knows how to edit and export a video. All right. The second group of people that I'm going to address is those that have nothing to do with video business, but they know some knowledge on the computer. They can download a software and they can install it and be able to do something, but not really technical, all right? And then the third group of people that I'm gonna address are those that just use their smartphone. They have nothing to do with computers. They don't have nothing to do with softwares other than phone applications that are installed on their app. All right, so I'm gonna try by all means to guide everybody who they normally post their videos on social media platforms. So let's get started. First of all, I want you to know that each and every social media platform, they have their own recommended video settings that they allow or that they want you to use when you are posting your videos to their platform. So if you post your video to their platform with different settings, what they will do is they will compress your videos to match their settings and in the process, that is the reason why your videos may look so low quality, may look so fuzzy, may look so pixelated because they have compressed the video on your behalf. So the best thing is for you to compress your video by yourself because their compression, most of these platforms are not really so good. Their compressions actually, they are so aggressive. But in order for you to compress the video by yourself, you need to know their recommended settings first and these are usually determined by number one resolution which is just the dimensions of your video the size of your video in terms of width and height and number two is codec which is just the compression and decompression of your video and number three is bitrate which is video data that is transferred at any given time in fact bitrate also determines the quality of your video and also the file size of your video. Number four is video size, which is just how big your video size is in kilobytes, megabytes, or gigabytes. Number five is frame rate, which is the rate at which your images or video frames are played to create motion. All right, now this sounded a bit crazy, but don't worry. Now that you know what they use to determine their recommended settings to their social media platforms, now you need to find out their actual recommended settings, all right? Like for example, if you want to post your video on Facebook, you need to go to Facebook website and find out what are their recommended settings for posting a video to Facebook. Let me give you examples of four media platforms. Let me start with Facebook. So if you want to post your video or upload your video to Facebook, here are their maximum recommended settings. All right, so let's start with resolution. The highest recommended settings resolution that you can use on Facebook is 4K now. They have introduced 4K, but I'm not sure about it. But what I recommend myself is just use HD, which is 1080p and 720p. The codec that they recommend is H.264, MP4 or MOV file formats. And the bitrate limit is eight megabytes for 1080p video and four megabyte for 720 video. When it comes to file size, the maximum limit is four gigabyte. And when it comes to frame rate, they recommend 30 frames per second. For YouTube, here are the highest recommended settings that you can use to post your videos there if you want them to look 
clear when it comes to resolution they recommend 4k hd 1080p and 720p uh, that is in hd and then when it comes to codec obviously use h264 with mp4 and mov file format when it comes to bitrate when you're posting a 4k video on youtube the bitrate that they want you to use is 35 megabytes per second and if you're posting a 1080p hd video the bitrate that you need to use is 8 megabytes per second as well as 4 megabytes per second if you are posting in half hd that is 720p when it comes to file size the maximum limit is 128 gigabytes and when it comes to frame rate you can use anywhere from 24 frames per second to 60 frames per second and anything in between as for instagram the maximum recommended settings for resolution is 1080p you can also do 720p and codec is h264 with mp4 or mov files whilst when it comes to bitrate is 3.5 megabytes per second and when it comes to file size the maximum limit is 4 gigabytes but when it comes to frame rate the highest recommended setting is 30 frames per second all right let me give you quickly on twitter maximum resolution is 720p codec is h264 with mp4 or mov file format and when it comes to bitrate is 2 megabyte per second that is the maximum resolution and when it comes to file size the maximum that they allow you to post on twitter is 512 megabyte frame rate is 30 frames per second and for snapchat and other social media platforms you can just go to their website and find out what are their video recommended settings when you are trying to post a highest quality video there cool now that you know the recommended settings how do you make your video have these settings there's a lot of ways that you can make this happen let's go back into our groups now number one is by using an editing software so you make sure that when you are exporting your video you export your video with the recommended settings to the platform that you want to post that video to after you have finished exporting i'll show you in a moment number two is by using a video converting software so to those people who have got nothing to do with editing software but then they have a computer they know how to download softwares what they can do is to just download a software uh, that can convert their video with these settings i'll show you the best software that you can use in a moment all right number three are those people who have got nothing to do with computers or have got nothing to do with editing softwares who are just on their smartphones so youtube there are also phone applications that you can use to convert your videos before you post them on social media and i'll also show you in a moment back to the editors when you are about to export your video let's say for example you intend to post that video on facebook make sure you export the video with facebook recommended settings all right so how do you do that that's why we have a computer here so let me show you how that happens all right in premiere pro here is how you do it but if you're using a different software it should also have video settings before saving the video or before exporting the video so here is how you do it in premiere so if this is the video that you wish to post on facebook right after you have finished doing everything you want to post this video on facebook what you do is you go to file you go to export media and then it brings settings all right so the preset that I'm gonna use, I'm gonna make it custom because I want to put custom settings for Facebook, all right? The resolution, which is the width and the height. I'm gonna uncheck that button and make it uh, 1920 by 1080, all right, by 1080. That is the maximum resolution. So when I scroll down here, all right i have checked render at maximum depth that is just my personal preference and then when it comes to uh, bitrate target bitrate you can see here it's 40 megabytes per second but then bitrate recommended setting for 1080p video that is 8 megabytes so i'm gonna reduce this to 8 megabytes per second and also maximum bitrate, I'm gonna make it eight megabytes per second. Another thing that you need to be aware of is a bitrate also determine how big the file size is gonna be. So you can see what is happening here on estimated file size. 
If I increase bit rates to 40, you see it's 169 megabytes per second, but then if I make it 8 megabytes per second, it becomes 28 megabytes per second. All right, so let me make this one also 8 megabytes per second. And when it comes to frame rate, uh, the frame rate recommended for Facebook is 30 frames per second. So you adjust there, you put 30 frames per second, okay? And then what else? So we know the codec is H.264. The resolution is 1080p. The frame rate is 30 frames per second. And we also know that the target bit rate is eight megabytes per second if I'm gonna do 1080p. And we also know the file size is 28 megabytes per second, which is still safe because Facebook recommends four gigabytes. So 28 megabytes per second, we are still good. So after you have adjusted all the settings, what you do, export. All right, so once I have exported that video, it will have Facebook recommended settings. So if I'm going to post that video on Facebook, Facebook won't have to compress it again to make it lose quality. And now for those who have got nothing to do with editing softwares, but then they have a computer, they can be able to download a software and install it in their computer. What I recommend is just download a video converting software that you can use to convert your videos to post on social media platforms. So the software that I recommend so bad is called Handbrake. So just go ahead and download Handbrake, install it in your computer. After you have finished installing it, uh, you go, you look for Handbrake. Uh, Handbrake is here. Just open it. After you have opened it, uh, you just look for the video that you wish to convert, all right? For example, this is the video that I want to convert. I just import the video, drop it in Handbrake. And then once it's finished loading, I can go to the dimension. You can adjust all your settings there. All these are uh, video settings. So if you want to know how to use Handbrake in details, just leave a comment down below. I'll make another video where I explain which settings you need to use when using Handbrake, okay? Now to those who have got nothing to do with computers, who have got nothing to do with editing softwares, all they have is just their smartphone. I wish to tell you that there are also other phone applications that you can install in your phone and you can use those applications to convert video into any preferred settings. All right, so the best applications that you can download in your phone, the one that I have been using, the one that they have not given me problems is InShot. I'm sure you already have this application, most of you. InShot is a video converter that you can use to convert videos that you wish to post on social media. So what you do is if you're using iPhone, you can just go to Apple Store or you can go to Play Store and download the software called InShot. After you have finished downloading it, install it in your phone. And after the installation is completed, go ahead and open the program, look for the video that you wish to convert and adjust the settings that you wish to convert that video into. And after you have uh, done all the settings, you just press save and the video will start converting. Now I can assume that you have the correct settings for your preferred social media platform that you intend to post your videos to. But sometimes you may have the recommended settings on your video, but then when you post the video, it still looks poor quality. It is still looks fuzzy, it still looks pixelated. This is because on some social media platforms, you may need to adjust few settings on the platform itself. For example, if you want to post HD videos on Facebook, you need to go to Facebook settings, scroll down and tap settings and privacy and settings. Scroll down all the way to media and contacts. Tap next to upload video to turn your HD video settings on. And if you want to watch your videos in HD, just go to settings, videos, and on video default quality, change it to HD if available. Sometimes you can click on the settings icon while the video is playing and choose the resolution you wish to see. Since Facebook will always suggest the resolution for you, depending on your internet connection. You can also do the same on YouTube. Just go to the settings icon and choose the resolution that you want to see your videos. And congratulations, now you can post your videos on any social media platforms in high quality. If you have liked this video, please don't forget to smash that like button. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do so. I'll catch you in the next video.
Peace.